Party it up. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Nim or Nim Somniac. How are you doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day. Today, I'm going to teach you the basics of Firebot. It's my favorite bot. I use it all the time. Every stream, it's the only bot I use. If you're on Twitch, it's the only bot you should use. Let's get started. All right, so first we're gonna open up Google. We're gonna search for Firebot. Firebot, the all-in-one Twitch bot. That's right. And we're gonna hit download. I already have mine pre-downloaded, so you're gonna have to run the installer yourself. It's pretty self-explanatory. If you own a computer, you'll probably be able to figure it out. But if you cannot, please feel free to DM me. Slide into my DMs, whatever they say nowadays. Send me a message, and we'll figure it all out. I open up Firebot. Welcome to Firebot, a tool for Twitch streamers. Mm, 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 mm. Get started. So first off, you're gonna have to add your streamer account, so your main profile on Twitch. I'm gonna click that. I have mine already auto logged in, so boop boop boop. There it is. You're going to have to log into your Twitch account and then authorize it. If you don't authorize it, you can't use Firebot. You can just skip the rest of the video. So now we got that done. So now we're going to add our bot account. I want you to copy and paste this link in an incognito window. And I know how to do that on Chrome. I don't know about other browsers. So we're going to hit Control Shift N. To open up an incognito window, we're going to paste this link in there and hit enter. This will allow you to log into your bot account without logging you out of your main account, which is really nice because two-factor authentication can be a butt cheek. I already have my bot account made. If you don't have a bot account made, you just make another Twitch account with a name that you want your bot to have. My bot's name is Scarlett Brohansen. For the sake of this video, I already have the passwords already saved in there. We're gonna hit log in, and now it's gonna ask me for two-factor authentication. One, two, one, two, three, four. No, just kidding. One, two, eight, zero, two, zero, seven. Yeah, that's not as good of a song. All right, remember me for 30 days, please. Yes, yes. All right, bot account successfully logged in. We can leave the browser. Now we have both the streamer account logged in and my bot account logged in. I'm gonna hit next. Now it wants you to add the overlay for Firebot. We're gonna copy it and we're gonna go into OBS or Streamlabs, whatever you're using, Twitch Studio. We're gonna add a new browser source, call this Firebot. And I'm gonna go with V2. And then we're gonna paste the source into the URL slot. And I'm gonna change this to 1920 by 1080 because it's the size of my window. I made it 1920 by 1080 because there are alerts that will ping off in Firebot that sometimes appear on the upper left or the upper right or the middle. And we want it to actually be in the middle or upper right or upper left while streaming. If we made it a smaller window, then it would just be even tinier. And you don't want that. Nobody wants that. Now we can go back to Firebot. We're going to hit Next. You're all set. If you need help or have a suggestion, we'd love to hear from you. Go to Help and then the About section so you can see where to find them, usually through Discord. Thank you for using Firebot. Are you guys ready? Let's do this. Okay, deep breath. <sighs> All right, so here is Firebot. We're loaded in. This is our main dashboard. We're gonna to toggle it on just for this tutorial. You also gotta to toggle it on when it's time to stream. Otherwise, none of your commands, sound effects, shout outs, whatever you use Firebot for will work. So now that we turned it on, you can see we have our moderators and the broadcaster, which is me, Nimsomniac, on Twitch. And then it shows your known bots. You could ban them if you wanted to. If they started chatting and destroying my stream, then maybe I would uh, ban them, but I don't need to. If you wanted to ban them, you could just click their name right here and just ban them or moderate them if you wanted to moderate them, I guess. But you could ban them straight from here. Let's take a look at what we can do. We can make a new command. 
You can make events, so like shout outs for people, say when someone comes into stream, you could announce their presence. You could add a timer, like a, a follow to command, do channel rewards. So if you have channel points, you already set up a bunch of different commands on there, they will automatically appear in here. And then from here, you can add sound effects to those, or you could add video effects. There's all sorts of things you could do. You could add hotkeys. You want to save a hotkey. You could add counters, so like a death counter. The very, very first thing I'm going to have you do is make a queue, an effect queue. Now, effect queue is not anything special. We're just going to make one called sound effects. I'll tell you about it in a minute. This one's called sound effects. So this is for all your sound effects. Every time a sound is going to be played through Firebot, it'll go into this queue called sound effects. The reason you have a queue is so that way sounds are not just overlapping and causing a huge pile of chaos and just stressing you out as a streamer. I have thousands of sound effects and I have queues for a reason. If I didn't have queues, all you'd hear is I'm not going to repeat that, but that's what you would hear. Okay, so now we have our sound effects queue. You can also add another one for channel points or for donations or whatever, but we're just going to use one for sound effects. So now I'm going to go to commands and we're going to create our very first command. I'm going to click new command and we're going to make a trigger. Now classic triggers would be exclamation mark based commands. But with Firebot, you don't have to use an exclamation mark. I don't use an exclamation mark in 90% of my commands, but you can. So for this one, we're going to do hi. So when someone comes in your chat and writes hi, this will trigger this specific effect. We can scan the whole message. So if someone were to say, hey, howdy, hi, hi would be found, and then it would trigger the effects. You could also auto delete the trigger, but you don't need to do that. If you do that, it removes what the user wrote, and that could be annoying. You could also add aliases like hello or hey. So whenever someone says hello, hey, or hi in your chat, it will trigger these effects. We want to add a cooldown because we don't want someone just to come in and write hi, 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 50 times and just always pinging off maybe a sound effect or something. It's just over and over and over and really stressful. I mean, you could if you if you're if you're down with that. I'm, I however, am not. So we're gonna make this 60 seconds. So every 60 seconds, if someone came in, you could send a chat message cooldown if it was like an important uh, command. This one, however, is not. We're gonna unclick it. And if you left it on, well, you just get these spam messages saying your command's on cooldown, and that could get old. Right here is your stats for how often this command is used. You could add restrictions, like permissions. You have to be subscribed to use this command. But we don't need to do that. You can ignore your bot account if you wanted. So here's the effects list. We're gonna add a new effect. You could add all sorts of effects. You could add an ad break. You could add a quote, announcement, celebration, which is like fireworks and stuff. You could add a chat message. You could clear the chat, you could clear your effects. For this one, we're just gonna add play sound you could play a video if you wanted I don't know why you need a video for high but to each their own I don't judge maybe your creativity is off the charts mine's just sound effect based so we're gonna do play sound we're gonna do a local file because I already have sound effects downloaded you can also do random from folders so if you have a folder full of haze and highs and hey yo you know you can just click that and it'll play randomly one of those sound effects in that folder. Or you can get one from the internet. I've never done this, but you could. We're going to click choose file. We're going to go to sound effects. We're going to go down to hey. Where's the hey? Hey. E F G H. Hey. All right. And for this one, we're going to use hey listen from Legend of Zelda. What is it? Ocarina of Time. Listen. So now every time someone writes hi or hello or hey in chat, that will play. We want to add this sound effect to a queue, our sound effects queue that we already created. And we know the sound effect itself is two seconds long, so we're going to add the duration to two seconds. So every time it plays, there's a two second window where that sound effect is going to play. 
and then the next one can play after. Nothing can play during that two second window, except for this command. We're gonna hit save, we're gonna go back to the dashboard. We're gonna test this out by typing hi. Hey, listen. And it works, Shazam Bam Booble. You got your very first command. So now we've, we've made our very first command and now we're gonna make an event. The events could be shout outs to your friends, custom shout outs when you get cheers or subs or bits. Isn't cheers and bits the same thing? I know lots of you here who are watching this are here because of the custom shout outs that you get when you go into somebody's stream. So they thought you were special. They, you are special. Not they thought you were special. I think you're special. Anyways, I'm digging a hole here. We're gonna create a new event. And this event's gonna be uh, viewer arrived. So this is for auto shouting out somebody you think is special. So for this time, we're gonna call this one you. That's the name of it. Viewer arrived is a trigger. We're gonna add a filter. The username is you. So whenever you comes into the chat, writes a message for the very first time, it'll trigger these effects, whatever effects you want to add. Remember to add this filter and put their username in there. Otherwise, it will ping off every time someone new comes in. That's fine if you want to shout out every single person under the sun. We're going to make this one a simple one, so we're going to add a new effect, and we're going to add a chat message. Y'all go check out yourself. Yourself at Alright, so that's gonna appear in the chat as soon as this person arrives. And we're gonna add another effect, and uh, personally I like to add sound effects, so we're gonna play sound, P L A Y, click sound, local file, choose file. I got a file full of sound effects that are for shout outs that haven't been used, so we're gonna click that. We're gonna go with 1.21 gigawatts. Make sure it works. Solid sound effect. And then you can also add show, show shout out. So now just an automatic little shout out dealy. This is the custom text spot. So you could change this or if you want to just leave it, they are an amazing streamer. Go give them a follow. You could do that. You can change the colors and then you got last seen streaming uh, what game or what category and then make sure you add their username into this spot so then it's customized to them and then you can set up your duration I personally prefer eight seconds I'm gonna put it in the upper left of the screen so it's away from me and it doesn't cover my face you know so now we're gonna go back real quick and make sure so this is eight seconds long that's the duration of that so the sound was three seconds long but they don't add on to each other. They're all played at the same time. So when we add it to the queue, it's gonna be eight seconds long. That way, nothing overlaps. So, next time you come into chat, this will auto ping off. And now we're gonna hit save. So we've created our very first shout out command just for you guys. Now that we've made this one, you're now ready to make more of them for your friends and other streamers that come into your chat. We'll take a look at a few of mine. Here's one from my buddy Jay Forson. Hang on, my best name impressman. Hey guys, welcome to the Brodeo. Welcome, what's up? What's your favorite rock song? Welcome to the Bro Down. Boom. You know what's up. You know that's pretty good there, man. <laughs> Sounds just like me. Or we got special video effects I've added to some of them, like through green screen, like this one. Okay. You can even add special little stingers, you know, if you want to make them feel really, really, really special, like this guy. And there you guys go, that's Firebot in a nutshell. So now you know how to make simple commands, add your accounts, put in the overlay, events, and cues, if you want me to do more tutorials on Firebot, and how to do other things and integrate other parts of Firebot, please write in the comment section what you would like to see next. If you're not subscribing, please feel free to do so as I would love to become your bestest buddy and Firebot helper. 
I will be streaming on Twitch most of the time. You can follow me there. It's in the description down below. I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and remember, you are awesome.